Hey, good morning, everybody. Anthony here. It is Tuesday, November 7th, 2023. Just a, a short uh, video this morning. Um, I'm sitting here uh, doing some Bible study. I started this book last night. I think I posted a picture of it. Um, the Shinar Directive by uh, Dr. Michael Lake. Uh, preparing the way for the son of perdition. The son of perdition is that man of lawlessness that the Bible talks about, uh, the Antichrist. Um, lawlessness is Torahlessness. So the law of Yahuwah, uh, the Almighty, he is lawlessness. So this son of perdition that the world is making a um, the way for or preparing the world system for him to take the stage and take control is this man of perdition, of sin, the man of sin, the man of lawlessness. Everything he does is against Yahuwah's Torah. And so this morning I just wanted to make a statement about uh, people following uh, social media, people following certain people, that's fine. Um, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of information to take in. And everybody has their favorite sources. And I just want to bring up a few names. Uh, this is not a complete list, but there's sources that people go to where they think they're getting uh, the truth or the news or whatever. You know, the regular news outlets that people watch, like, you know, the Fox, CBS, CNN, etc., those are all controlled. So what you're getting with them is a narrative. You're not getting an, the news. They're pushing a narrative. So if you think you know world events or what's really going on by watching the news, you're just getting the narrative that the globalists, the puppet masters, want you to be following. They want to put a bit and bridle in your mouth and move you around and just take you down the road to the ne their next step which is world domination, world control, and controlling you and me. Um, then there's the um, some people that have large podcasts or following, uh, some that come to mind, and I'm not denouncing everything these people say or people they have on their show. I'm not saying that at all. Uh, I'm not saying don't follow them, you know, you know, don't listen to their podcasts or whatever, but don't but take everything with a grain of salt and understand that who I'm going to mention here are nothing more at the end of the day than controlled opposition. They're allowed to uh, be on the air, to exist, to, get, to garner many followers for a reason, um, and that's the controlled opposition. It's where uh, they give you those people in control of the puppet masters give us you know left and right republican democrat they give you two choices so they'll let tidbits of truth out there and sometimes these individuals that i'm going to name here will you know point you towards some truth um, but at the end of the day it's all controlled opposition there's they're just keeping you frozen enough and in this state of, okay, maybe things are going to change, or maybe uh, I should just sit back and wait for, you know, Donald Trump to get elected. And he'll take us back to uh, this uh, making America great again. Um, and they have you frozen and waiting continually and hanging on the next person that comes uh, to light. So, podcasts, uh, you have Joe Rogan, Alex Jones, Elon Musk now uh, has control of what they call X. Why he named it X, I don't know, um, but w was formerly Twitter. You got Stephen Greer, these, this guy that talks about extraterrestrials, David Icke, th those are just a few names. Um, so again, these people are nothing more than controlled opposition. They're not the source of truth. Your source of truth is biblical truth. It's your, the Bible. It's your relationship to the Most High through His Son, Yahusha, Jesus. That's where you're going to get the source of truth. 
in the Bible it says the Holy Spirit that lives in you, if you if you are a believer and not a poser, will guide you into all truth, Jesus said. He will guide you into all truth. So he's always going to point you to the truth. And sometimes the truth is hard to swallow or you don't want to believe it or understand it and you turn to some of these sources that give you basically what your itchy ears want to hear. And that's what people are doing by turning to these guys uh, for truth. Like now, Elon Musk is supposed to be this uh, great supporter of uh, First Amendment, free speech, and, you know, no, it's not the case. The puppet masters are controlling him. He's nothing more than controlled opposition. Donald Trump is nothing more than controlled opposition. Presidents are selected. They are not elected. Okay? Uh, news outlets, again. And then you have the three-letter places, the WEF, the WHO, the CDC. Uh, people turn to those sources. Oh, let's see what the CDC says about this or the FDA. What are they doing? These organizations at the end of the day are under the umbrella of the New World Order. They're under the umbrella to prepare the way for the son of perdition. They're all working towards the goal, that end game that the Bible talks about. Okay? Bill Gates, I just posted a video, uh, is getting a patent to, uh, you know, hook people or track people via their skin and electronic means. You got Nuval Harari, Noah Harari, that's talking about us being hackable creatures and knowing everything that you think. So you can't, if you're smiling and laughing and agreeing with someone, but yet inside you're disagreeing with them, they'll know that, he says. You're, you're hackable. And that goes all in line with, you know, Revelation 13, 16, where the mark of the beast that talks about the mark is in you, the Bible says. If you read the, the King James Version, the mark in the hand or in the forehead, not on. It's not like a tattoo or something like that. It's inside of you. Okay, it might be something that you're hackable, your, your biologics are hacked by nanotechnology, etc., whatever technology they're coming up with. But know that you cannot trust these organizations. Now we have the FBI in our country telling us about terrorist attacks where for years they've known the borders are wide open and millions of people are crossing the border. Now you want to come out and say we have to be weary of terrorist attacks? You're complicit in this. You're complicit in this. You're not a law enforcement agency. You've lost all credibility. Our governments, governments of the world are corrupt and leading us to an end game. This World War III that's breaking out is leading us to an end game. It's cover. It provides cover for these world governments, ours included, to crash their systems or change their current systems and bring in a new system, a reset, they tell us. Okay, a reset where they are in control and they control you more, uh, more closely and monitor you more closely. And you have to do more of what they say because they can, can shut your money off or control your, uh, your money and, again, pull you like bit and bridle. Um, but, again, these people that you're listening to on social media, uh, take them with a grain of salt uh, and know that they are controlled opposition. And I just want to close with a... a a few quotes from this book uh, that I just started reading. He, Dr. Michael Lake says this on page one. We are living in a neo-pagan world that is completely controlled by the occult and the church is oblivious to this reality. Most of the church doesn't want to know about child sacrifice and all these different things that are going on. These occult behaviors that have been fostered into our uh, uh woven into our daily life. Even people that are in the church are corrupted by the occult because it's so prevalent. The only way to get out of it is to ask Jesus, Yahusha, to get you out of it. He says this on page 11, we need to realize that the enemy is working overtime to hide our past so that he can keep us in bondage 
for a future he is covertly building. They change history, they rewrite history, they'll discredit the Genesis account, they'll discredit every truth that's in the Bible and say, no, that's not what really happened, here's what really happened, and they'll change it. The battle is for the beginning. They change our history. They'll tell you things that are not true. Okay? And then in closing with the biblical verse, uh, in Colossians 2.8, the Apostle Paul writes, uh, Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men and after the rudiments of the world, that's the world system, and not after Messiah, Christ, he says. Paul's talking in chapter 2 of Colossians about doctrines of men. Um, uh, the, the city of Colossae was steeped in pagan customs. The entire contents of chapter 2 is dealing with doctrines of men and teachings of men. And that's exactly what we're dealing with today. We're following doctrines uh, opposite of what the Bible talks about. And so you need to get to your roots, the root of the word. You need to be in prayer and you need to have discernment because these people of the world are manipulating us in these times that we're living in, manipulating us to go one way. You don't support this, then you're banned. You don't support this side, you're banned. You, don't, you, have, you can't have a thought of your own. You can't say, no, I don't support death. I don't support war. I don't support killing of innocent people. I stand with peace. You can't say that. You have to take one of their sides so they can put you in a box. That's what they're doing. They did it during COVID. They're doing it again now with war, through war. And a lot of these people that we're following, that people are following, are leading you by bit and bridle. Please get back to the word. That's my Note for today, Anthony signing off. Stay ready. Yah bless.